David, did today sort of sum up Sunderland's season? Well, it, it did. I think that for, for long parts of today's game, we played quite well. We probably had four or five really good opportunities and 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 we done a good job, especially you know, we had we'd nine out injured, one suspended today. And I thought the boys who came in done really well. But the story, as I say, is, is a familiar one for you, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, uh, sadly, and we're, we're all obviously disappointed in them. Feeling more for the supporters who support the club and you know who come and watch regularly. They're the ones who we feel most about. But uh, we all take collective responsibility from the top to the bottom, and because of that, you know, we'll, we'll sort of dust ourselves down. We'll look at it in the next few weeks and, and see what we have to do. Is the one overriding thing that, that's gone wrong this season, or is it accumulation? I think it's I think it's an accumulation. But you know, again, for me to give you a snap answer to that just now after the game, I, you know, I can't really do. I'd rather take a bit of time and think about it and, and put it in the right place. You've had a lot of highs in your career. How, how difficult was it to go in that dressing room straight afterwards today? Well, I, don't, I don't know what words you can really say to the players. But what I did say to them, I thought they fought really hard for the team today. I thought they fought for the jersey. They, they were extremely committed. And, uh, because of that, it's very difficult to, to fault them. And what words could you say to supporters again? Over 38,000 of them here today. Well, I think that what I would say is that, you know, we are disappointed with the, with the level of performance all season. Uh, we'll do everything we can to get it right. And hopefully in, in the coming weeks we'll, we'll look at it more aggressive and, and we'll have maybe more to say and, and more thoughts about it. I know you said you're going to look at it at the end of the season, but have you got a burning desire of unfinished business to get this club back into the Premier League? Well, I think the, the, the plan, when I do sit down with, with Ellis and, and Martin Dean, will be the plan. And, looking at how we can do that and get it done as quickly as we possibly can. Because you like to see a challenge through, don't you? That's what you've generally done in your career. Well, we want to make sure that, you know, this is a great football club and you mentioned the amount of supporters who follow it. And as I said, that's why, you know, if anything, I feel for them because, you know, they're the ones who, who put their sort of hard down cash into coming to the games and we've got to try and, you know, give them something to shout about. How much work needs to be done on and off the pitch to do that, David? Well, again, that's to hit me with a question after the game makes it difficult to answer that because we're, we've not wanted to think about it and we've not wanted to put ourselves in that position but maybe in a couple of weeks time we'll be in a better position to answer